I bring you greetings from the Khan President, uh, His Eminence Archbishop Daniel Oku, and also his apologies for being unable uh, to be present physically here today. Uh, but as a result of the importance he attaches to this meeting, he personally handcrafted this message and sent it to me. So I'd like to read his message to you. I'd like to read the message to you. I wish to thank the Almighty God for his grace and mercy towards us in this nation. For it is by his grace that we are gathered together today to honor his name in this standing committee meeting. I'm grateful for the invitation extended to me to be part of this august gathering. This shows that you hold the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan in a very high esteem, and we shall continue to identify with you in all circumstances. The Anglican Communion in no doubt is one church that has made great impact in both the socio-economic and the spiritual development of our country, Nigeria. It is also a strong voice in the Christian Council of Nigeria, CCN, which is one of the blocks of the Christian Association of Nigeria. As you gather today at this standing committee's meeting, I urge you, brethren, to stand up for Jesus and for righteousness in our land. You are meeting at a time when all is not well with our country. Nigeria. As people imbued with faith and hope, I beseech you to remember this country in your prayers and particularly Christians who are facing severe persecutions in different parts of the country on account of their faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible forewarned us about perilous times, and I dare say that the perilous times are here with us. Insecurity, wickedness, murder, ritual killings, injustice, impunity, nepotism, persecution, economic woes, and other misfortunes of unimaginable proportion have been unleashed upon us like an evil avalanche. We are all scampering for fresh breath and safety. The theme you have chosen for this meeting, your kingdom come, your will be done, is very apt and reassuring as well. When the kingdom of God comes, his will shall be done, and it shall be well with us in the land. The kingdom of God depicts hope, it depicts hope, I beg to say, peace and rest from all our troubles. So in these uncertain times, we shall continue to pray and wait for the coming of his kingdom. And even as we wait, those who believe in Jesus Christ will continue to do great exploits, just like you are doing today. So I say to you, this is a can president saying to you, it shall be well with you. And for your sex, it shall be well with our nation and the world. We will rise from the despair and pain of these perilous times, from the tragedies of insecurity and the deprivations of our economic fortunes to a bright new day of abundance, prosperity, and joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Once more, I congratulate our primate your graces, your lordships, and other distinguished members of the standing committee on this auspicious occasion. I pray that the almighty God will bless and prosper 
the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, and you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me just add a little bit to uh, what I have read. Uh, how many of you can see what I'm holding? What's it? It's a cross. Uh, what's it made out of? Oh, okay. I. <laughs> okay, it's made actually out of a bullet. I, I was in a conference in one of the West African countries, and um, somebody handed it to me. I was there with uh, someone of the other faith and some other people. And the bullet came out of an East African country. Uh, so there, they realized the best way to promote peace is to turn their bullets into crosses. And the main central message of the cross is a message of love. So I want to plead with us in the Anglican communion, please turn your bullets into crosses. Don't fire bullets at each other. And then in the Christian community also, let's walk in love and we'll be able to lift higher the banner of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much.